we're going to talk about the widget. So this function is a WordPress function uh, which displays an arbitrary which is a random widget. So let's look at codex. So if we look at uh, this function on codex it says that it outputs which means displays an arbitrary widget. Arbitrary means random widget as a template tag. Now, what is template tag? If you look at codex, template tag is, a sim is simply a piece of code a piece of code that tells WordPress to get something from the database. It is broken into three components, a PHP code tag, a WordPress function, and an optional parameter. Okay, so it's basically template tag is a piece of code that tells WordPress to get something from the database. So the widget will display the widget depending on what parameter you pass inside of the function. Okay, <clears throat> so let's see what parameter it accepts. First is the widget. Uh, this will be the class name uh, of the widget, uh, you know, depending on which widget you want to display. And how do we know what class name to pass? So, if you go on to WP Includes folder in your WordPress file uh, and then go into Widgets folder, you can see these are the class names basically. If you click on any of the class name, you can know. So, for example, if you want to display uh, widget. Uh, archives okay then you need to go ahead and click on this file which is I've already done and this is uh, the name that you need to pass inside of this parameter the widget okay so if you want the archives a widget then you need to pass WP widget archives okay and um, this uh, all of these classes are basically extending the pre-existing class which is WP widget okay so it'll have all the methods so this uh, you know child class will have all the methods uh, and properties of the parent class which is WP widget. Okay. Next is instance. Uh, the widget instance setting. So inside of instance if you look the different values that you can pass. Uh, so how do we know what values to pass? Uh, if you look into this function you will notice that inside of instance you can pass count it could be 1 or 0, drop down 1 or 0 then you can pass uh, title. Okay, you can also pass title over here. All right, so I can see so far I can see three parameters uh, that you can pass inside of it. So it's title, count, and drop down. Okay, so brilliant. Now next is next parameter is um, arguments. So array of arguments before widget, after widget, before title, after title. So whatever HTML content you want to display before and after widget or before and after title you can pass in over here. So let's take an example of this function. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open my 404.php. So what is 404.php? It's basically a page that is going to be displayed by WordPress in case if that page is not found. Okay, so if you look at template hierarchy, so if you go to WP template hierarchy, <coughs> Okay, you will notice that uh, if a user goes ahead and uh, you know searches something and it's an error that page is not found, WordPress by default will look for a 404 page, and then if it doesn't find it, then it'll open the index.php. It'll use the index.php. So in our case, in our theme, we do have the 404.php that we have made. So I'm going to use that. So inside of this function, uh, I'm calling this particular function, which is the widget. I'm passing the first parameter which is widget class. First parameter is a widget PHP, PHP class. So I want archives, hence I'm, I've written WP widget archives. Okay, so WP widget archives, that's the name of the class that's mentioned here. So that's the class name I've passed as the first parameter. Second parameter I have uh, passed is instance and I put drop down is equal to one. So if you notice in drop down I have values equal to 1 or 0 so I have put 1 which means they should be drop down okay and then in the third parameter I have passed as argument and I've just passed a single string I haven't passed the array of string because you can see that it can be you know it could be uh, just string that you can pass okay so I've passed a single string which is after title is equal to uh, 
archive content and, and this archive content is a variable that we have defined here and inside of it I'm calling this printf function which is going to uh, go ahead and display this text try looking in monthly archives and replace this uh, percentage one dollar s by uh, basically yeah by this second parameter which is convert smiley so convert smiley function converts the uh, text equivalent to an image into that particular image so this is going to convert to a smiley image so it will be try looking in monthly archives and then the smiley and if you check try looking for monthly archives and then the smiley that's what we have over here okay so the widget is going to get me all the archives and it's going to give me a drop down option okay so let's see if that's what we have yes that's what we have so we have archive and then we have a drop down option to select between the months uh, if I want a November month post or December October month post etc okay uh, similarly the second example of the widget function is that if I just pass the the widget class so if you notice the other parameters are optional the only parameter which is required is widget so the first parameter is required the rest of the two are optional so if I just passed uh, you know pass the uh, widget class which is PSP class name which I've done over here I want the tag clouds okay so I'm gonna look go ahead and look for tag cloud here it is inside of the widget uh, folder of WP includes I'm going to click on this. I'm going to check what is the name of the class. WP widget tag cloud is the name of the class if I want the uh, tag clouds widget. So I'm going to go ahead and pass that into uh, my function as parameter, first parameter widget. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and get all the tag clouds widget. So let's see if that's what we get. You can see that that's what we have. So you have tags as the title, and then I have all the tag clouds. Yep. Similarly, you can use this function to get different widgets. You can get calendar widget, categories widget. Uh, so let's try out one more. Okay, so let's do PHP tag, uh, the widget. And let's see what we want. So let's say I want calendar. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open this file, check what is the name of the, the PHP class. WP widget calendar is the name of the class. I'm going to go ahead and pass that over here and let's see if that works. Perfect, that's what we have here. We've got the calendar widget. Okay, so it's very simple. The job of the widget function is to display the widget, random widgets based on what PHP class you pass inside of it. Uh, depending on which PHP class you pass, for example, if you pass the archive, uh, WP widget archive, you're going to get the archive, WP widget calendar will give you calendar, WP widget categories are going to give you uh, categories uh, widget. Uh, depending on what class you pass, it's going to go ahead and give you the widget uh, as a template tag. Template tag means it could be a set of quotes, uh, basically, that tells WordPress to get something from the database. Okay. Cool. So I think that's about it. I hope you did like the video. If you did, please do subscribe to my channel and share this video with others so they can help them as well. All right. My name is Imran. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.